Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to create a circumcenter for a triangle. Now, a circumcenter is one of several different interpretations of a geometric center of a polygon. And in this case, you can think of the circumcenter as the center of a circle which goes through all three of a triangle's vertices. And you can find the circumcenter simply by knowing the lengths of your sides. And before we begin, you should note that for an obtuse triangle, in which one of the angles is obtuse, the circumcenter will actually lie outside of the triangle. For an acute triangle, in which all of the interior angles are acute, the circumcenter will be on the inside. And for a right triangle, in which one of the, right, uh, one of the angles is a right angle, the circumcenter will lie on the hypotenuse. So, in order to find the circumcenter, what you'll want is to find the midpoints of at least two of your sides. So this is about 11 and a half inches long. So we'll go to midpoint here, mark that off. Do the same for the other leg. This one's 12 inches that there. Okay. And what you want to do is form a right angle with these sides. You can just make a dashed line if you want. And we'll do the same with the other one. Form a right angle, draw a dashed line. And where these two lines intersect is our circumcenter. You'll find that if, you, if you've calculated this correctly, if you were to find the midpoint of your other side, and then make a right angle, draw another dashed line, that should go through it as well. And the wider the obtuse angle in your triangle, the farther away the circumcenter will be from the triangle itself. All right, let's try it again for this triangle here. So we're going to find the midpoints of our sides. See, this one is about five inches. Let's mark the midpoint at two and a half inches. Same thing here. This side is also five inches. So two and a half. And then this side is five and a half inches. So we'll mark it at two and three quarters. Okay. And from here, we simply create a right angle with each side. We'll draw a line up from there. Do that for all three sides. And if it has been done accurately, they should all intersect at the same point. Voila. There's our circumcenter. Now, we'll do finally for our right triangle here. This side length is nine inches. So we'll mark it off at four and a half. This side length is eight and a half inches. So we'll mark it at three and a quarter, or four and a quarter rather. Good. Then do the same thing that we did for the others. Make a right angle. Draw that line out. Make a right angle. Draw the line. You see we don't even need to draw another right angle here because it already intersects the hypotenuse, as we predicted since this is a right triangle. And again, once you've found your circumcenter, what you can do is simply measure the distance from the circumcenter to one of your vertices, and that will be the radius of a circle that hits all three of your vertices. And it's just that simple. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to create a circumcenter for a triangle.